Hello fellow YouTubers, I uh, thought I'd show, show you today how I made a breadboard end. This is for a toy box and over the years I've tried at least four different methods of attaching breadboard ends and this one I'm doing with a domino. Uh, this has been so far the easiest of the methods that I've tried and only time will tell whether this, how well this will hold up in the long term. So anyway, I took a few short clips, and I hope you enjoy. Appreciate any comments. Thank you. Yeah, I've got the uh, red board uh, side clamped up in the vise and I'm going to start in the middle between these three uh, tight domino settings and then I'm going to basically take just a few thousandths of an inch off in the center. It's important to keep this thing as square as you can so you don't get any unnecessary openings. And I think that should just about do it. So let's check the fit. Okay, I got the uh, spring joint made. I'm going to what you'll notice, and, and the camera will, is not going to pick this up, it's just too tight. If I hold this at the ends, I'm, I'm tight on the ends, but there is just an ever so slight gap here. And let me show you that. This is a business card, and it will not fit down in the gap. However, this sheet of paper, and find slot here. We'll just barely get there. So, when I glue this, when I glue this up, these three center dominoes will have glue on both the breadboard side and the top side. The dominoes on the outside will not have any glue in them. We've got a uh, narrow setting on this side and the outer perimeter on the top and the wide setting on the breadboard end and that will allow the top to expand and contract once this is glued up. Okay, I've got some dry fit dominoes here. These have been sanded down and you'll notice I drilled holes in them. That's so I can pull them out. not have to hammer these in and be able to disassemble the joint. So this is my dry fit. And I'm tight on the outside and just that slight gap on the inside, so I'm going to pull this together with a clamp with the glue. That joint will close up here. It's still tight on the outside. And this will keep the outside ends of the breadboard, I hope, tight across the entire length. 